Trey, you uh, the defense played well yesterday. Uh, seems like it always comes down to a couple of plays every game. Talk about uh, the play with Justin Fields and uh, just your ability not to get to that him and him making a great play actually. Uh, well, yeah, like it, it, football is one of those games where you dream of those things when you're a kid. You know what I mean? And, and I've uh, been blessed to have the opportunity to be in that spot. You know. Um, you know, it's it's disappointing, but again, that's the great thing about football is next week's coming. Um, we got a chance to improve this week. Um, all the fundamentals that we can go back on, lay back on. Um, and personally, I love adversity. This is going to make me a better player, a uh, better teammate, and uh, be more accountable. How long does it take you to put a play like that behind you? Next play. Yeah. It, it's instant. Thank you. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts? Go ahead. Sorry, Laura. I, I think it's... Go ahead. I want to Okay, I'll fire away. Trey, I think it's fair to say that uh, you are having the impact so far that the Bengals were hoping you would have when they signed you. How do you feel about your start? Uh, well, kind of going back off the last question, I think um, I expect more. I think um, we collectively expect more out of me, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting on to next week. And... Uh, handling the adversities of this loss. And um, I think our defense is going to respond properly. I think we got a strong group. Um, you know, there's a there's an old defensive saying, if you did, if the other team wins, we gave up too many points. So I love when it's uh, on the defense, you know, put it on us. Like, um, you know, we gave up three points, that's too many. So uh, I look forward to this week, uh, getting back after it with my, uh, with our guys and uh, moving on. Trey, how, how do you think the defensive line is gelling? You, you could say arguably that's been the best position on the team the first two games. Uh, what What is gelling there? Um, it's just guys that work hard and do the things they're coached to do. I think we're led by uh, Coach Hobby, which is great D-line coach. And then, uh, you know, playing with Sam, DJ, and Larry has been a pleasure. Um, and, uh, you know, the guys that are filling in those roles like Cam, Wyatt, uh, Josh and BJ, I mean, they're not letting off the gas when the uh, when the next group comes onto the field. A lot of times when players sign a contract extension or go to another team, especially at your position, the expectations are really high in terms of replicating the sack number you did last year. Does any of that pressure um, get to you, and how are you dealing with those expectations that come with that? Uh, absolutely not. I've never been fueled by um, – anything like that. I think I had a great opportunity to come to an organization that needed help. And um, that's why it's, uh, it feels great to be here. Um, it's, it's special place. It's uh, like I said, when I was being uh, brought in here, it, their play, play away, um, being special. So uh, look forward to going to work with these guys. And that, that's what makes it uh, really, truly special. Trey, back-to-back weeks, the defense has held a running back to, to roughly three yards a carry. How close do you think you guys are to being that consistently good against the run? Uh, well, it's, it starts up front with our fundamentals. And uh, like I said, we're, we're really well coached. Uh, and we, we take coaching well and we apply it. So uh, if we continue to do that, I think we'll be on the right track. Trey, you mentioned uh, your teammates along the defensive line, but I want to focus specifically on the leadership that a guy like Larry Ogan Joby has uh, provided the defensive front. What's that meant to you on the field and off the field? Um, he's electric and super talented. I've, uh, I've been fortunate to have followed his career as he's been uh, in Conference USA with me for my entire career as well. So uh, Larry's a great football player when he came to the Dome in New Orleans, he was a wrecking ball as well. So uh, I look forward to playing uh, beside him. Trey, this uh, group of uh, defensive line, a lot of people made note of the chemistry of the defensive backs, but it appears that that same chemistry is up front. Did you recognize that you guys had that in training camp? Yeah, that's where all these relationships and bonds come from. Uh, just spending that time 
learning each other's uh, personalities and traits. Um, and then obviously playing football with them and fitting off the blocks, seeing what they see. Communication has been great. Um, you know, we're, we're a really tight group and we want to win. And I think that's what makes us special. Thank you. Trey, I was wondering if you had seen any Bengals Steelers games down through the years, anything stick in your mind or do you know, do you know much about the rivalry or? Yeah, I know it's a tough rivalry and it's an, um, you know, I think this whole division is a tough division. Um, but right now we're focused on the, the, the game at hand, um, not too much about what's happened in the past. Trey, can you kind of take me back to, you know, the sack that you and Sam had on fields uh, there yesterday and kind of how you feel like you two are kind of complimenting, complimenting each other on the ends? Well, I think we're both uh, quick off the edge and we can threaten a lot of teams with the vertical rush. Um, I do think that uh, what makes it work so well is that we know our responsibilities really well, um, both smart football players, and we know when to take a shot and when not to. So we both came free and uh, split that one. When you went from four and a half sacks in 2019 to 13 and a half last year, what did you think was the biggest reason why you were able to make that jump in production? And through the first two games, have you seen more teams try and double team you and give you more attention because of your production last year? Uh, yeah, well, first, um, you know, I think it all stems from opportunity and um, nobody prepared me better for that opportunity more than my wife. Um, we I can remember uh, just studying film, breaking it down with her and stuff like that. She's been a huge help in my life and as a football player and this, um, the way my off the field life is gone. Um, but, you know, opportunity is something special and that's uh, what we look forward to getting after the quarterback uh, next week. How does your wife help you? Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, uh, really tight discipline. She was really well raised like I was and, uh, we have very similar mindsets in the competition that uh, the game doesn't stop when you walk off the field. You, there's advantages you can have uh, all over the football field uh, and then off. So uh, specifically um, meal plan, um, the way I study film, the hours I put in, um, the uh, support and uh, the confidence that comes with that I know that I've done everything I can. So did she play sports? Yeah, she uh, figure skating and fencing. She's at the uh, state championship, both ch champion. Yeah. Does that translate sure. to watching tape? Yeah, she's uh, but she's got a doctorate in pharmacy, or she's working on completing it, so she knows how to study better than anybody. Two Trey, more what's your go? Two more minutes. Go ahead. Trey, what's your go-to uh, healthy meal or or go-to health food? Uh, I think just chicken breast, brown rice, and uh, vegetables. It seems pretty plain, but does the job. Trey, when y'all were doing stuff in the uh, offseason and getting uh, acclimated with the defensive line, did y'all do any team building or anything outside of the field to kind of build that chemistry? Um, well, there's so many hours in camp that you kind of get a feel for uh, a lot of players. I mean, COVID's still here, so we try to, you know, minimize all the uh, exposure and things like that. So we make our time in the locker room on our breaks to uh, figure out those kind of things. More questions for Trey? Trey, is there a, was there a rivalry in New Orleans that would remind you of the uh, Steelers Bengals? Which one would come to mind as far as an opponent that you guys looked at as the biggest rival? I think we played the Falcons tough. I think whenever we played the Falcons, it was one of those games that we knew that we were going to get their best shot. So um, I think that's what makes uh, football special is these old time rivalries and uh, look forward to being a part of it this time. Thank you. I just had one more question. Going back to the meal prepping and us talking to you about food, are you guys pretty strict in your diet? Um, you reference that being something that gives you an edge. Uh, yeah, it's it's just discipline and consistency. I think those are things that get a little overlooked, um, you know, not letting off the pedal just because you feel good or have production or not. Um, you just keep tapping away. Um, and, and that's something that uh, falling back on her gives me a lot of strength.